Hey Lightweights, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last video we finished up the Half Dan story arc in Yurvikshire. <laughs> um, I was getting a little fed up's not the right word, but a little over it, I guess would be the phrase. Um, I feel like I'm having a ton of fun with this game. I'm loving the main story but there's just too many side arcs that you have to do in order to progress the main story. And I'm ready for something new on the channel. So I did the Snottinghamshire arc off camera. Um, I just did it really quickly on my own time when I didn't have to have makeup on, when I didn't have to have the whole setup going. Uh, I was able to do it much more quickly because I didn't have to pay attention to everything in quite so much detail. And I kind of just like rushed through the Snottinghamshire arc I'm sorry if anybody loved that arc and wanted to see it. It was a good arc, um, but nothing unique. It was, there was a Jarl who brought peace to the area and he was dying. His son didn't want to take the Jarl ship after he died. So we needed to decide, was his son going to take it or another man who was kind of helping run the area going to take it. Um, the son really didn't want to. So I actually invited the son to move back to Ravensthorpe with us and join our crew. Um, it was a good story. It was pretty entertaining, but it wasn't anything totally new. Um, so you didn't really miss a ton. For anyone who like really wanted to see all the story arcs, I'm sorry I did it off camera, but I'm just ready for this playthrough to be done. I've put 44 hours into just recorded content. <laughs> and that's not even the things I've done off camera for this game. And that's not to take away from the game. I absolutely love the game and I will continue to play in my free time. I have a ton of fun doing all the side little mysteries, um, finding all of the stuff and collecting all of the loot off camera, but I'm just ready for something new on the channel. So I did that off, off camera, I did that on my own. There is still one more region in this area and there's no clear answers on the internet. Google is failing me, Reddit is failing me, but it seems like this last area that we haven't done, Hamptonshire I think it's called, um, Seems like we don't have to do that area to progress the main story. That's more like epilogue stuff, I think. So I didn't do that um, just because I didn't want to turn in this area, this Nottinghamshire area that I did to Ranvi and then have it auto click into the next main story. Um, so I'm going to pick up this video by turning in or returning to Ranvi after I finish that arc. Um, and then if we have to do Hamptonshire, I'll do Hamptonshire on camera today, but I didn't want to progress off camera any further and accidentally trigger something important that I was going to miss for the camera because I do really want the main story stuff, obviously, to be recorded for you guys. So I did that whole area. That's pretty much it. Oh, I also did like all of the order stuff. <laughs> I killed every single person on the order except for the head honcho guy that I think is Alfred. That looks like Alfred. Um, I have to progress to the main story more before I can do that. Uh, but it's my understanding that there's kind of like a Sigurd and Eivor storyline ending and then there's an Order storyline ending and I wanted to make sure I could bring both to you guys. Uh, so I killed all the Order members off camera as well. Again, nothing exciting. It was just go find this person, assassinate, find this clue, find this person, assassinate, that sort of thing. Um, not, no really like cool fights or anything like that. It, I just assassinated all of them. So didn't really miss much there either. <laughs> um, if you're new here, hello. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. Hopefully we're wrapping up this ending soon. <laughs> um, so you're gonna wanna hit that bell button so you can see when we do end the game after 44 hours of gameplay and see what we play next. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, so I'm back at Ravensthorpe. I'm gonna turn in this arc to Ranvi. Um, also, look at my neck. Can you see it? It's not really showing up on camera. You know how I keep complaining that my neck is super itchy and I'm having an allergic reaction to something? Well, apparently in my sleep last night, it was itchy. And I have scratches all over my throat this morning. I don't know what I did. I must've been itching all night. I know I woke up a couple of times and it was itchy, but I don't recall scratching it that intently, but apparently. Good God, Van B. One of us. So it might be time for me to uh, seek some outside <laughs> outside help for my freaking neck, throat area. 
Because clearly the Benadryl cream is just not cutting it. Bring fair tidings, Ranbi. Himingar Yal in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan. Vili is the son. He serves as a radar on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. So Vili is now with us. He was the son of the Yar who died. Fuck. And apparently I... Eivor. Oh, there we go. Agitated. Yes! Has something happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. Let's go! Finally! <laughs> Sigurd, Eivor. what's up? The time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. What? If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life, life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway. I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer. That didn't piss him box. off. Do not keep me waiting. He wasn't like, you need to discuss this with my wife. I'm your Jarl. I decide. <laughs> That's what he's been like recently. Wait, what? I should go. Why do I need to discuss this? <laughs> I want to see the Alliance map. Oh, so I have to do Hordafilke. Hordafilke? It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager remember. to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. So we have to pledge to the... Oh, I see, I see, I see! I got it now! We'll leave now and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Now she's like, please, have my husband die because I'm sick of his shenanigans. Evil? <laughs> I will do that side mission one of these days, but I'm not doing it on camera because there's too freaking much already. So I was saying this to Mr. Light last night when I was frustrated at how many arcs we have to do to progress the main story. I can't express, I love this game. I'm just gonna flat out say it. I love this game. I think it's phenomenal. I'll finish this thought after this dialogue. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway. To Norway. And well beyond. On the whale road. To Norway, then. Good, good. Lead on. Okay, anyways. Uh, love this game. Think it's great. Having a ton of fun. However, there's too much. Too much to do. I feel like there were a lot of arcs that just didn't need to be a requirement. So strange. Little has changed. But it feels unfamiliar. Our few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. So I think they should have had all of those story arcs. I think they should have kept them because I thought they were fun. However, there was a lot that shouldn't have been mandatory for... Shush. 
<laughs> shouldn't have been mandatory for the main story. Um, for example, I don't remember which place it was, but the arc with like the, the romance where they were married but they didn't want to be, so he kidnapped the wife and sent her back to, to Francia. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. Where am I going? Hold on. Oh, I gotta go this way. Yes. Turn! Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Um, anyway, so there, was, there were a couple arcs that, like, were fun, but they felt more like side content. They didn't need to be a requirement for the main content. Um, I feel like it should have been like, hey, if you want to do this to get additional stuff, additional allies or whatever, do it. But there were some where I was just like, I saw that person one time and then never saw them again. It thrives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Anyways, that's just my thought on the matter. <clears throat> I would have done it all on my own anyways. Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby, a sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look. What do you see? Hey, <coughs> we should look there. We come empty handed, not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. Oh, they sniff and lick them without care. You are a chipper, brother. Anyways, I would have done them on my own time, I would have done them off camera, and I would have loved to do them still. Um, but the fact that they were mandatory to progress the main story just felt unnecessary. Bloated. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man, for without it, 
I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked hard that was really to sassy. peace across <clears throat> our land. To spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed. Always at his back and call. And that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You yes, actually. Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I didn't hope that doesn't piss Sigurd off. Eivor, I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Arkan nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. <laughs> hey, listen to us. Not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. Maybe lose the drinks. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. <laughs> I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but 
What form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come. Sigurd is giving me whiplash, guys. I never know what he's gonna say or what to expect. One minute he hates my guts and calls me a traitor. The next minute... Off. The next minute he's like, oh no, you're super loyal. Okay, like what? <laughs> More sail! Daughters of I here, bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. The strains of these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. He does seem to kind of be coming back to reality a little bit. Obviously not completely, because he wants to, like, kill himself so he can join the gods, but, you know. He's a little bit more back to normal than he was before. Which is good to see. But I wonder what will happen... Like... Is he actually going to die? And if he does, what does that mean for us? Like, do we take over the Jarldom? A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would! <laughs> I feel bad for the people we picked up in England who've never been to Norway and now they're like dealing with this horrible, horrible, windy, cold snow. Uh-oh. Yes! Yes, this feels familiar! Eivor! We will press on! The rest of you, wait here! I'm not going in that water any longer than I have to. Oh god, we have no shirt on. We're gonna freeze to death. And yet we're taking it like champ. Look at us. Just strolling through a storm. Cold! I don't know her. Into this kingdom of snow! Sigurd! Can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have meat and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and all Look at the penguins sliding down the snow! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! 
We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. I still haven't looked up if they're penguins or puffins. I keep meaning to do that. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm just curious. It is bitter cold. This wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! Frozen fingers, I hope so. I'm really curious to see what's at the end of all of this. If it's nothing, what will he do? <laughs> Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! Ooh, so curious to see if it's actually real. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Everything else has been, but still. Hello! It's cold! Fly away! What are you doing here? just looking at them the ice looks fragile can you clear it sure thing pal should probably let him go first my heart races oh is there is gonna be shit here Oh. I've seen this before. It's the Isu, all the right. Above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nog vat unsh membro trurvon di quarde. Un solas vras gnocadide, un sum hugas reis derae, gas saunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Okay, seeming a little less crazy now. Feeling a little bad for judging him. Why are we stuck? He was still a total dickwad to us though, so I don't feel totally bad. Just a little bad for thinking he was crazy and lost his mind. Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Sigurd, I... I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. She's like, shit, are we gonna die? This vessel, 
was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. Ooh, ah, a black screen. <laughs> Damn, how long is this elevator? Oh, the shit. The tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. Skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. That's really cool. I'm- There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. What are those glowy things on the wall? Um, I'm really worried that I'm not going to remember enough about the Isu and the, the lore of the past games. It's been so long since I played them. Because I didn't play the, the Odyssey DLC and I only played Odyssey once because I didn't love it. Oh shit, there's gonna be a big ass fight here. Oh no. Oh no. Ava, where have you gone? I'm coming. <laughs> shit. Yes, so I hope I remember enough about the lore. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches. They will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. I really don't think I should. You can go. I'll stay here. What? Oh my god, how did I not see that person there? I totally didn't see them! They're literally just hanging there and I just missed them. Hail you givers. The guest has come. Who is that? So are we like in our mind, our own creation now? What is this place? I don't know, but the carving of the wood is so pretty. Really cool. Lead us to glory, Javi. We are proud to serve you, Javi. Wet my lips with another horn of mead, brother. Drink for strength. Sigurd. Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Well, hey, his arm's back. Are you? Are you Velka's mother? Svala? You have a keen eye, Wolfgist. 
After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last, oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... this is all so beautiful. Your visions were... they were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Okay, but where's Basim? <laughs> Wasn't he Loki? Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. Also, we're just okay with being dead. Whoa, there, eyeballs. Be fighting exactly just everybody ah, the music of the battle game everybody looks the same and I'm just literally killing everybody place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Spill the eternal blood of us. Oh. Okay, I tried to parry. It did not work. Share the din of infinite battle with a true Oh. Oh, okay. Brother. Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. Is it just gonna grow back? The day is done. We're just going to keep doing this loop over and over again. That sounds horrible. I like the music. Okay. The people are saying the same thing. So... Do they not remember that just repeats over and over and over again? Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we mortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. Oh my god, how many times are we going to have to do this? Also, does it bother Sigurd that they keep chanting our name and not his name? to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again it will be. Father, 
Father, is that you? So that she finally realizes he wasn't a coward. Skull! Skull! Take your horn, join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Baron. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. That doesn't seem joyous to me. Over and over and over again, losing your arm. I saw you, Father. Where are you? Show yourself. We are proud to serve you, Javi. Is that him? Have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Yesterday is gone. Varen? Father. Come back here! It won't let me run yet. It still won't let me run yet. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, so he's the only one wearing a red cloak with a shield on his back, but now that he's fighting, his shield's gonna be off. Where is he? Oh. Sigurd again? What the fuck, dude? You call yourself a warrior? Ha! <laughs> Next time I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it! Do you not tire of these injuries? Never! <gasps> there he is! There he is! <laughs> Wait! Father! Not him. Oh. <gasps> so we're just going to keep getting the injuries that we have as like the God version of us. have a guest you should have knocked first nonsense i brought you someone luke my eivor there you are what a warrior you have made of yourself i am overfilled with pride how did you find your way here you remember our great battle you remember how we fought side by side with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united. We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. 
That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wish to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. How is Sigurd being the sensible one right now? <laughs> this is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come, battle beckons. Again? Send me home! I'm over this battle. <laughs> How is all this possible? Are we gonna lose our eyeball again? How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look, your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No, they are not real. This place is a lie. They looked creepy. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. Sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal, not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief, so I bid farewell to my dear Volka, and came here. I wish you well, Svala. This is not for me. Yeah, we have a lot of life left to live, and we had a lot of people we cared about. I must find Sigurd. Sigurd! Show yourself, you one-armed fool! Keep the rat guessing. Oh, the arm! The arm! Always the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. I'll just keep losing my arm. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day, the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle, real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. 
brother. It's time to leave. I wonder how long we've actually been Am in I here. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Um. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. Is he gonna attack us? I don't like that he has a weapon out. You are the wolf-kissed one who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. Built the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. We have had a pretty badass life, I'm not gonna lie. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. You can't make me! I want to go back! I'm not dead yet! Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared <laughs> your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Oh, not good. Oh, not good. Everything you believe in stirs before you, yet you question all. You question the very gods. Oh shit. Ah! I was not ready for that! Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. A dream? A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fear? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. Eivor, stand. Ah! Cheating. To just run towards the door. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, Sigurd! <laughs> just push him out of the way. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Bad parry on my part. Go! That's bullshit. All right. Do not turn away. He doesn't even have a health bar, though. I think I just said health. He doesn't have a health bar. Uh. Fuck! Uh. I can't. 
can't heal. Can't use my special moves. This is bullshit. Can't use my bow and arrow. Okay, that's how I didn't even get close to the door. I don't know what I'm doing right now, you guys. Odin has control over your axe. Why does he have control over my axe? That's not fair. Oh, I blocked that. That's bullshit. You Odin! Oh, I did not block that one. Block too early. Okay. Ranby's here now? Drop the axe, bitch! Guys, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. How's that control of the axe? Get up, bitch! Oh! Hey! Why can't I block? Why can't I block? Oh, there we go. Get up! I never did get very good at blocking spears. Shit, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Ooh. Stop that! Oh. Am I supposed to let him defeat me? Until all my people show up? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna let him hit me one more time and see what happens. Who's here now? Valka? Unequip your axe to escape Odin. Oh. Thanks, game. Thanks. Unequip. How do I unequip it? I don't know how to unequip it! It won't let me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Stop crouching. Take up your axe. Wield like a true warrior. Take up your axe. Coward of coward. You guys, everybody came for us. It's our mom and our dad. <laughs>
Sigurd. Are you? Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Avon! Be careful! Basim! What is this? Come closer, Avon. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you drag us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist! You broke all my hopes! He's mad, Eivor! Silence him! Come, Eivor! Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens! <laughs> So Basim's gonna be our final boss fight? Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Kill that background! You must suffer a thousand times what I suffer. What is this about? My son, Eivor! This is about my son! Oh good! Great start! Nonsense, Great start! Great start! Guys, why do I suck all of a sudden? We shared so much in England. Fought and fled together. Dig, Eivor. Into the wellspring of your memory. How do you... Where are you, fool? Ha! Blocked him that time, I think. Are ya? Oh, missed that time. Fuck. Shit! to fight with you. Fuck you! Oh, that was just pure instinct. <laughs> what? That one right through him. Oh, that one was just a horrible whiff. Oh, come on. I was doing so well. Whoa! Gotcha, bitch. I don't know if I got you. I don't know if I got you. I can't see a thing. Ah! <sighs> ooh, ooh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yep, shoot the wall. That's a great plan. I only have one bow, one arrow left. One bow left. And I whiffed. Way to go. Um. Oh, come on, throw that back. Can I climb up there? Nope. Oh, but I did get a bow back. A bow. Why do I keep doing that? I did get a bow back. Fuck you, Basim. Hey. Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. <sighs> What? My son will not have suffered in vain. I should probably heal. About nonsense, like an ale. You are a 
mind to this. So be it. How much damage do you take, Bassem? Fuck! I want you to suffer! When I have finished, it will be a sack of blood and shattered bones. Aren't we already a sack of blood? Will be to be fair. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's just bitch slapping him out of the way. How do you dodge that, you son of a bitch? Make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! We're not gonna rush into that yet. We're gonna get some health first. I'm sure he'll wait for us. I knew I didn't trespass him. I knew it! So is he still talking about Fenrir? I kind of thought he had like a real life son. <laughs> In this reality. Be careful! He's coming for you! Oathbreaker, you die here. This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Bessem. Come. Just making sure we're still recording. Oh, indeed. Oh, yeah. Attach him up on a thingy. Ooh, stun tack, bitch! Oh no! Ha! Got him! Sigurd! Stop this thing! Now's its fire! Us. But in darkness. Good. The bastard. How long have Bassan been planning this treachery? I dare not guess. Damn. Gods. Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say, and say it. I... I need some time to breathe. You need time that to breathe? Bitch, I just got stabbed in the gut! That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I am not well. Home. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think. 
the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I, I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England. Of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. <laughs> what a saga we have inscribed together. A tale for the ages. That was so good, you guys! I love how, like, I know it was all in our mind and it was all just in our head, but that everybody that we cared about came back to help pull us out, including our mom and our dad, which shows that we forgave him. And we don't think he's a traitor. That's coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Her hair looks Jasmine. like shit. <laughs> Jasmine, what about him? Desmond, it's been forever since I've seen you. He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. <laughs> That's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity, you know, a vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. 
for protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Cute little cabin. What were we playing? Poker, maybe? Looks like we had too many cards, though. I don't freaking know. What do we have here? I'm sure there's like a billion things in there that are super interesting and you guys are gonna be like, oh, I wish you read that, but. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. There's a lot you of stuff that's not interesting. Than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there and come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. Let's just see if any of this has changed. I think it's probably all the same, but. Um. I think I read that already. King Alfred. I don't know. So I don't think I read this. Uh, King Alfred, aka Alfred Rex, Alfred the Great. What do we know about him? Famous for his holy vision of uniting all the kingdoms of England. One country under one rule. Sort of a United Nations of England, maybe? Or just England. He never saw his this vision come to fruition, though he laid the foundation for it. Too busy fighting Vikings. Strangely, Shakespeare never wrote a play about Alfred and the Vikings. Missed opportunity, that. Now is the summer of our peace and calm made clamorous winter by the loons of Jorvik. The Yggdrasil Chamber. Layla has located a new Isu temple, the Yggdrasil Chamber, for lack of a better term. She is there now, searching for a way to slow it down and return the world to some sense of normalcy. Many pieces now fall into place, and a theory emerges. In 2012, Desmond Miles managed to activate a network of Isu temples and devices in such a way that it amplified the Earth's magnetic field, one that shielded us from the mass coronal ejection that should have dealt civilization a fatal blow. But in the eight years that have passed, it appears this magnetic field has been growing ever stronger, and now the cure to what ailed us becomes the disease. The magnetic field that saved us threatens us all over again. But what is driving this increase? This Yggdrasil machine, a simulation device not unlike our animus, but perhaps fed on calculations, not memories, seems to be in an overlocked state, for lack of a better term. What is the cause of this? Only lay only Layla can tell us for sure. So many questions. I eagerly await her return. Eivor has spent quite a lot of time with Basim now, and together with Hytham, it gives us a clearer picture of the hidden ones in the ninth century. They're recognizable as assassins in all but name, which makes me think they evolved quite naturally into what we know it from Altair's time. The word assassin comes from the Arabic word hash smokers. And maybe the hidden ones adopted this epitaph as a mark of pride more than anything, turning an insult into a mark of pride. Curiously, I do remember one passing reference in some of the old literature about Hytham being one of the first assassins back in England after the exodus around 430 AD. I should contact our London Bureau for Edward Kenway's papers. Had he read about this early assassin? Is that why he named his son as he did? It seems likely. So Kenway, that was from Black Flag, right? I, I did not play Black Flag. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in.
I thought that was the end. I kind of forgot about the real world shit. <laughs> Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. So I vaguely recall that I played Cassandra in Odyssey, so Cassandra was still alive and gave Layla the staff, I think. I just remember Cassandra in a suit. Hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Well, when all this is over, we can get a startup going, you know? <laughs> get a little work based by a van, just the three of us. Shit, you're breaking up, Sean. Oh, You're shit. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling us when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. Looks a little different now, doesn't it? That's not good. It's crumbling apart in here. Must have collapsed and the ice melted. Whoa, whoa. Steady. Brings slip and slide to a whole new level. Ah. Nice. That's cool. Invisible wall? Okay, well, how do I get out of here? All right, dive underneath. That's how. pretty with the red glow and all the water around. I mean, I know it's like super dangerous, but it's pretty. Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Thank you. I love how, like, with the Isu architecture, how it has, like, the stone or the metal with the glow tied into it. I always thought that was really cool. Looks really pretty. And it definitely is what I picture when I picture an ancient race of godlike beings who are way more technologically advanced than we are. Up. 
over. I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm a little turned around, you guys. I was not paying attention. I'm assuming if I can go up, I should go up. I'm just gonna go out. Go out on a limb there. The music in here kind of sounds like whales. <laughs> it's like Dory speaking whale somewhere. Okay, good. Went the right way. Anyone want to end their life here? Unless they felt it was just beginning. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have walked in the middle of the platform. It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. I mean, Eivor looked up at that thing before she left. Something feels off. I'm afraid to walk through there. Yep, invisible wall. Okay. So... Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went, in fealty to our master. Hmm. Who's your master? Is he here? They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Holy yes. shit, did not see that coming. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. Don't You're trust him. Meant to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. This is gonna be bad, you guys. We're releasing Basim. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Scald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last. We rest. Is that it? 
Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? <laughs> what is happening, you guys? Layla, hello. You know me? Yes, through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This I know that voice, you guys. This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Isn't this Desmond's voice? Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... So be it. Holy shit, you guys! I owe this to the people I... I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. So that was Desmond? Oh my god! We're stuck here forever!
you with me. I'm with you. It worked perfectly, my dear. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla? <sighs> Memories fulfilled her role perfectly. Fuck, what do we just do, you guys? Now then, a new world awaits. What the fuck did we just do? Oh no. Sean, Bex, I. I had a choice. And I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is... Don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... And too late. Take care of yourself. You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! Pass you heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. What are you because wearing, Basim? You left her there. This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're just going to let him on the... Now? Not hidden ones. From the Arabic. Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these, these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. We're just gonna leave him there with all this shit? What are you doing? It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family back together no I don't want to play what no a quiet place to find an end I almost envy you
Hello, little fella. I don't trespass him and I don't like this one bit. Tools or instruments of torture? Or both? I can't move. Okay. Mm, magical. So these encrypted messages were from Basim, who was calling all of the shots. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all garbage must be packed out. And please water the plants once a day. Poor little plant. I looked like you not long ago. Where's the plant? Oh. <laughs> Hold tight, love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. I want to get back in the Animus, but I'm afraid to get back in the Animus. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go. I gotta finish the order, because the last thing said I had to progress with the story further in order to finish the order stuff. But how am I supposed to do that with Basim? I don't want to... I feel like everything's a lie. I feel itchy. Basim is Eivor now, and I don't like it. I know they're not really that person. They're just like seeing the memories, but like, Steady, it makes me feel icky. I can't get the stupid strand of hair. There we go. That's a cool shot with our statue there with the flames. We missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Oh, this is it weird, is. you guys. This is weird. For me. You are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I am... Uh, um... <laughs> she looks so uncomfortable. Eivor's <laughs> 
turned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Ranvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? This was such a good ending, you guys! For love <gasps> and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <laughs> On ocean steed my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We reach the place our trail of rest. Till Odin gaze upon the dead. The host resound the mighty horn. For those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty horn. For we who fight, for we who fall. That was so freaking good! Holy shit, that was such a good ending! Ah! Okay, so the last thing I want to do. Oh, a new letter. Oops. Um. I want to kill. See if I can kill the leader of the order. Thank you for your aid, dear Eivor. You helped me say goodbye to my father and helped me find a place in this world. It's not much, but you should find a small token of appreciation with this letter. This axe belonged to my father and will be better in your hands than mine. Um, so let's see if I can continue the story to find the next clue. What are you talking about? All right, hold on. I want to look that up real quick. I want to do that on camera if I can. That's why I killed everybody in the order for that. Oops, sorry. Let's see what I have to do to get this last clue. Um, you have to unlock clues. Complete the main story, did that. Kill all order member, did that. Find and kill all zealots, did that. Once those requirements are met, you should return to Ravensthorpe and speak to hide them. Okay. Evolve. I was like, I did all that. A moment. Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Well, because Basim this will be is a traitor. Hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd. He loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I have to go. Then go in peace. Okay, that didn't work. I, I literally killed everybody. What the heck?
So apparently this is a bug. I'm gonna try to reload and see if it helps, but apparently since I reported all of the, I turned in all of the metals already before this last, for this last story arc part, it's glitched. Which is really freaking annoying because I did all of that off camera last night. I probably killed like 20 people. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but I killed most of the Fuck. Damn it, guys, while well, I tried. Eivor, did Basim contact? Hytham. You mean? Sigurd. I do not I do not understand it. Why can't I give? Tell me about Can you eliminate? Well. I have to go. Then go and pee. That's really annoying. All right, guys. That's it for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm sorry I couldn't do the order stuff on camera. Uh, just glitching out, apparently. I've done everything that I have to do, but he's not giving me the quest. Uh, and I can't get the final clue for the order leader until I get that quest, which means I can't assassinate him and finish it up. So... Sorry about that, um, that kind of stinks, but at least the main stuff is done. I'm sure a lot of other people did it on YouTube that you can find their playthroughs if you're really curious to see about how the order stuff ends. Um, so for my thoughts overall, I absolutely love this game. I really, I love Assassin's Creed. I love the new style of games they've been doing, even though they're very, very different than the original feel of Assassin's Creed games. I thought this game was incredibly well done. Um, in this video, I kind of already told you some of my thoughts in terms of critiques. I feel like this game was massive, which I'm okay with, uh, but they made you do too many things for the main story, and I feel like some of those arcs could have easily been more side content you don't have to do to progress the main story type of arcs. Um, obviously, a lot of them were integral to the story and they brought in characters that we needed to the story. But I also feel like there was a lot of them that could have just been, hey, if you want some more content or if you're not ready to progress with the main story, you can do this stuff and it will only benefit you and it will only add to it. Um, but that was really my only my only critique. I felt like the world, it didn't... In terms of forcing you to do some of the arcs, in that sense it felt bloated, but in terms of the day-to-day, -day, like the, the little things, it didn't feel bloated. Everything felt um, like I wanted to do it, felt important. Uh, even the mysteries were fun, they were unique. Um, I know they were, they tend to be the same type of thing, either a mission or, you know, like there was only so much you could discover, but all of those little side quests, side missions felt unique and really added to the depth of the world to me, really um, made me feel a part of the world. And I really liked that. I thought that was really well done. Um, the fact that a lot of things that you would find added to the lore, like finding the, um, the Beowulf pages added to the lore, you could read through all of those and basically read through a, the poem by the end. Um, you could find your tattoos and then go and get your tattoos. And I just thought that was really cool. Adding to your settlement and changing your settlement and um, putting things, like putting the points where you wanted them to go, I thought was also really cool. It made me want to do raids. It made me want to do things that was gonna give me the ability to upgrade my settlement because I wanted it to turn into a village and I wanted to improve it and I wanted to make it better. Um, so I just thought they did a great job. In terms of music, I loved the music. I was still disappointed by the end there that we didn't have the typical Assassin's Creed, you know, that, that little trill that they have in all of the games. I like how they've been changing that sound to fit the region of the world that the story was in, and I was a little disappointed that they didn't do that for this. They got close to it, but never quite gave us that the sound from the original, like, Ezio's family song. Uh, and I really loved 
when I went into Origins and it sounded, it was Ezio's family, but the Egyptian take on it. When we did um, Odyssey, it was Ezio's family, the song Ezio's family, but with the Greek flair on it. I thought that was really cool and I would have loved if they did that same thing for this game. So I was disappointed that they didn't do that, but the music and the soundtrack was still beautiful, was still great. Um, every time we were in a fight sequence and they had that battle song playing, I was like pumped up and ready to go. Um, and they did a lot of really cool things with the main story here. I feel like they paid they paid a lot of attention to the previous stories and they wrapped them up nicely with this. I have no idea what the heck is going to happen with Bassam and with the staff, um, but I'm, it made me excited for a future game and it made me excited to see where this story is going to go next. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed the playthrough. I know it was incredibly long, but thank you for sticking with me because I had a blast. It really, really did. They did an amazing job with this game and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post my next video so you can see whatever series we have up our sleeves next. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.